schools being indoctrinated into the communist way of life by teachers who belong to the teachers union, who in fact, most of them are that way, I guess. But whatever the case be, I see young kids that love conservative values. It really makes me feel good because it gives me hope for the future. From the teenage Republicans, Brandon Posner is here. Come up, Brandon, and talk to the people. And let's see the new face of America's future. Thank you. All right, well, I just wanted to start off with a quick story. So last week was my first week of school, first day of school. So I first time going into consumer law and business ethics class, they had us play like a mini trivia on Pennsylvania politics. So one of the questions was, who are Pennsylvania's two U.S. senators? So we'd write the answers down on a piece of paper, and then we'd exchange with the group next to us to check our answers. So I get the paper from the group next to us and look at their two guesses for Pennsylvania's two U.S. senators, Arlen Specter and Patrick Murphy. But obviously not all teenagers are like this, I mean, but there's a surprising number of them who are, which is why it is one of the main goals of the Bucks County Teenage Republicans to inform as many teenagers in Bucks County as possible why they should get involved in politics. And that's the primary reason why I'm here. So I just want to address a couple of the issues that I think my generation should be caring about the most, one of which is our national debt. So we all know that our country's in trillions of dollars in national debt, but how does that affect my generation? Well, my generation right now is going through years of school, we're going to go on to college, but then we're eventually going to get a job. And because of the out-of-control spending that's happening today, years from now, my generation, in our peak earning years, will have to be paying extremely high amounts of taxes on the money we work for because of what's happening today. But obviously the debt is a big problem, but I wouldn't see it as the biggest. Now, we've seen many frequent examples, scary examples, in the past couple years of government trying to get into your lives. Now, we saw it in Obamacare, where the government says whether you want it or not, you have to spend your money on, your, on healthcare, whether you want it or not. Now, but it's not all about health care. It's about the government getting involved in your life. It's about the government saying you're not good enough and you're not smart enough to make decisions for you and your family. It's about a guy sitting behind a desk in Washington, D.C. who thinks he knows what's best for your state, your county, your township, your schools, and you. Now, America is not the best country in the world because we have a government who wants to get involved in every aspect of society. America is the best country in the world because we have a gift of individual freedom. Now, it's a gift that you can wake up in the morning and wear whatever you want to wear and eat whatever you want to eat. A gift for us to assemble here today and send a message to Washington, D.C. that we don't like what's going on right now. But this gift is not to be taken for granted. As Ronald Reagan once said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. And our freedom is at stake. But history has shown that there's no limit to what the American people and the American spirit can accomplish if government just gets out of the way. And that's why it's our job and our duty and our responsibility to defend the thing that makes our country great. So if you're a teenager, get involved in politics. Well, you, you might be thinking, I'm not 18, I can't vote. What can I possibly do to make a difference? Well, there's very simple things like door knocking, going to the phone banks and making a few phone calls. Or if you want to join the teenage Republicans, there's people walking around with brochures and information on how to do that. Very simple things that can make a huge difference in elections, especially in a county like Bucks County. But just remember that you really don't have to be old enough to vote to make a difference in an election. Thank you, and God bless you. Hey, Brandon, let me ask you a question. When you're in school, do the other kids in school treat you guys differently because you don't share that communist ideal that most of the kids are being taught? What, the teachers? Or? Well, <laughs> well, we already know where the teachers are at, but what about the other students? No, the, a lot of what I get is, I, especially with the presidential election in 2008, the, a lot of the kids who called themselves Republicans that a couple days, it would be like the Phillies losing in the playoffs. A couple of days they would be upset, but eventually they get over it. But what a lot of people don't realize is elections really do have consequences, and it's not just like a sport where if you lose, 
it's a one-time event and you're done. It really does have consequences on today and our future. Well, I'm proud of Brandon, and believe me, there's a whole bunch of kids like this who are great, and a good future awaits us thanks to kids like this that get out there. Thanks a lot. Take care, right, Brandon?